But what age age group is this book for? God, who knows? I mean, I know that seven year old seven year olds have read it, and and it's been too advanced for some nine year olds. Uh, it depends on their reading level and their comprehension. Some some uh, eight eight nine year olds have been scared by it. Some seven year olds are like, "What's the problem? You're scared of this?" So they say it's. Eight to fourteen, it's a pretty big expand, you know. And then I've got some older readers who I hear from, who, um, you know, it really appeals to them. They're fourteen, fifteen. So I don't know, um, but it has that middle grade adventure story thing. So, uh, what's been your favorite reader reaction? Well, I I would say the most recent one, <clears throat> which is. Um, for it's it's interesting. I get I've gotten um, quite a few letters and uh, messages online, as well as handwritten letters from kids on the autism spectrum and parents of kids with um, Aspergers and on the autism spectrum. And I heard from one girl who who is uh, has Aspergers, and she. She just made the most beautiful. She's been doing fan art for the Wonderling, and it is stunning. Like it is so good. It's it's like she's just incredibly gifted. And so I, um, her mother sent me a picture she drew, and I re wrote back, and I and then I sent her in the mail a little packet of things, and she sent back. This thing was so beautiful, Rob. It was a, a tiny fox she hand sewed with one ear, a little go good luck charm, and then these beautiful cat paintings, um, and then a painting of Arthur and Trinket. Um, I just will treasure these. I, so I think what she and and one of the reasons she it's just one of my favorite responses is she said, um, her mother said that. Her, her daughter has a really hard time at school and, um, and she feels like she has no friends, but she feels like Arthur and Trinket are her friends. And, um, and it made me sad, but it also was very touching. And I have heard that from quite a few kids with autism, that somehow they feel like these characters they know them. They don't feel alone. And I think that's part of the reason why I rewrite books. So you don't feel alone. You know, that's one of the reasons I think I do. It's like, you know, I think about the books that I read as a kid or that are sitting, that still sit on my bed, bed um, my nightstand that I've had for years since childhood that I will go back to and and um, I find them comforting, you know. So, just that feeling that this author knows what I have felt, yeah, it's and empathy. they felt it also. It's empathy, you know. And um, yeah, and it's different than, you know, when I wrote the Memory Palace, and I would do these readings, and I still get letters from people. I would get sometimes like sixty. A hundred people in a line, and they come up to me, and they're crying, and they just said, "I, I know that you, I've, I've walked in your shoes, and that was my mom, or that was my, that's my family story," and it would be very moving, but really also exhausting, like emotionally draining. My book signings sometimes would be go on like for hours. I mean, it was like, but with the Wonderling, it's different. It's like, it's like kids it's not sadness it, it's like you make me feel like I'm not alone there's something it's it's a different feeling it's it's um not that I disparage you know people who have gotten something out of my memoir and 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 feel touched by it in some way I think that's great it's just that it's it's um it's a different kind of thing and it's it's a little more uplifting in a way, you know? So yeah, I would say hearing from these kids 
on the autism spectrum has been a really huge and other kids too. I have other kids. In fact, I've met one of my first, uh, I think she was my very first, she wrote my very first fan letter. I met I, um, when I was in LA last year, I've been in touch with her, her and her mom. And I, I just contacted them out of the blue and said, do you want to have lunch? <laughs> so, she, <laughs> so we got to meet, she was so nervous, but, um, it was, she was, she's, she's a really great kid, really smart, really sweet. Anyway.